Max effective range of a small, 500 meters. Minimum distance you can engage a target, 17 meters. I don't recommend 17 meters. All right. Uh, back blast area. All right, 60 degrees at 100 meters, that's for your frag. All right, just like a uh, grenade. Kill zone, 60 degrees, 40 meters. You take it, you're gonna slide it in, quarter turn, it'll lock in place. All right, at that point in time, the rocket's loaded, should be good to go. So at this point, PSO's gonna charge the weapon for you. All right, at that point in time, you're basically condition one weapon. All right. Stand by for rocket. I'm going to flip it to fire. PSO is then going to take a knee. All right, the shooter's got to check his back blast area, just like an AT4, before he launches that rocket. He's going to look left, he's going to look right behind him, make sure no one's standing behind him. Shooter, he may commence firing when your target disappears. He's going to compress that launch lever and squeeze the trigger at the same time. Rocket will go off. Uh, we had 34 combat engineers out there, uh, 20 uh, that were AAV operators, uh, second AAV battalion. Throwing the expedient charges, such as grape charges, uh, Bangalore's, and uh, and also going over some of the other demolition classes so everyone can get hands on with it. Uh, what goes into it, how it, and how it's made. We would like to do more um, joint operations with other units. Since the drawdowns in the Marine Corps, it's kind of hard to use our own assets. So we try to incorporate other units so everyone can get mixed training. A lot of the Marines, especially the ones from 2nd AAV Battalion, they don't mess with demolition at all. So it was a good experience for them. <laughs>